So this is what it's like to be uh, tortured by remote control, electromagnetic, uh, microwave, active denial, coercive technology. I just keep saying it over and over, satellite based system. Excuse me, interferes with your brainwave patterns and emotions and leaves you an absolute wreck. I'm having a severe panic attack and um, uh, it's been going on for a little while now. My nose begins to run, also, my eyes begin to water. Um, I still have that pretty smile, and um, the sweat, begin to sweat horribly, the whole body feels like you want to jump out of your own skin, it's just really awful, it's tightness in the chest and tightness in the stomach, and you feel like you can't breathe, and I start shaking and wiggling and jiggling and I think it's more than just panic attacks that they're doing. It's, you know, a combination of PTSD and some type of remote neural interference, monitoring, uh, disruption. Um, basically, uh, makes it almost impossible to do the things that you need to do in your life, like, uh, you know, have a job or take care of your health or sleep properly since I have insomnia or you know earn money or deal with anything you know um, makes you agoraphobic don't want to go outside or, um, you know, sometimes the medications you have to take in order to try to not feel so absolutely like you're gonna explode at any moment you just want to crawl into a hole and pull it over your head and like maybe nobody will see you. It's, it's torturous. It's terrible. This is designed and tweaked, you know, to perfection over the long term for each individual's neurosynaptic potentials. It also has to do something with your... Well, I don't know. I'm just making this up off the top of my head. Um, based on uh, several years of experience going through this, watching other people who knew and didn't know what was going on go through it and talking with countless, well not countless, but at least, you know, maybe 50 to 100 other people who claim to be going through similar things, uh, including news reports, internet searches, several years of internet searching and documentation. And I've come to the conclusion that you know, even though this is a terminal experiment, meaning they're going to keep doing this, I imagine, until we're dead. Um, I'm suffering horribly, as I know some of you are, uh, by sharing this suffering. I hope to A, make myself feel a little bit better, and B, maybe make some of you feel a little bit better. Um, you know, I'm, I'm here, this is me, this is my life, this is what's left of it, and it's here for all the world to see, you know, you have something you want to know, ask me, uh, you have something you want to see, ask me, um, my life is pretty much an open book at this point, <laughs> as we who are targeted and know from remote neural monitoring, you know, that there's no more secrets, if they can peer into the depths of your brain and pull out your sub-vocalized speech and, um, you know, compare and contrast to the many databases of all the things you've ever done and everything you've ever bought and where you went and what you looked at and what you said online and all the phone calls you made and you just compare all that data and you mash it all together and you come up with the interesting picture of who and what and where and of course, you mix that with biometric data and all the other stuff. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling on. Uh, 
just thought I'd mention this. That the panic attack is resolving slightly. I had to take an extra dose of the psychotropic medication. So, once again, thank you all for being there to watch uh, this decline and decay of the American system into a mind control system. There's some very interesting movies. Uh, I'm going to try to make a list of films that, that relate to this stuff that you people should watch because uh, there's three or four real classics that, that basically tell it all. Um, uh, for now I've been watching The Ghost in the Shell, a Japanese manga in English, which I highly recommend to anybody interested in uh, where some of the people think this world is supposed to go with transhumanism, nanotechnology, cybernetic uh, replacement of bodies, and uh, cyber brain technology. There's so many parallels between that uh, fantasy, quote unquote, fantasy world and our real world today, the aspirations of many of the rich and powerful. The one thing you'll notice while watching these films is that, you know, these superhero type uh, individuals with these cybernetic bodies and all this enhancement. First of all, there, there's like nine of them as compared to, you know, billions on the planet. Uh, not counting the criminals, of course, and all the people from the war, etc., etc. But, you know, it's like the population density of people who have this special ability of this multi-million dollar technology is very few compared to most people who are just like, you know, everybody else, poor and being manipulated and killed. Um, anyway, thank you for listening. I feel a little bit better now. I'm gonna go back to what I was doing and try to communicate with you more. My internet is severely limited, so, uh, I'll do what I can. Once again, blessings to all of you. Thank you.